Welcome to the ITU studio here in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt at the Global Symposium for Regulators 2023, GSR 23, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Mr. Mohammed Nasra, who is the Managing Director and CEO of Telecom Egypt. Mr. Nasra, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max, for having me here. Well, it's our absolute pleasure. So I wanted to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, the sponsorship of this event, which is by WE. And uh, WE, you'll tell me a little bit about the branding in a minute. But uh, essentially, uh, you are the platinum sponsors, which means that uh, you have supported the event the, the, in the most uh, generous way. And we're very grateful for that. Why is this event important to you? Uh, Telecom Egypt is here in Egypt working in telecommunication and providing telecommunication service for the Egyptian community for more than 165 years. So we've been providing uh, telecommunication from its start as telegraph and uh, moving to coaxial cables and uh, all types of communications uh, until we became now branded we for the consumer business, but we're still working at Telecom Egypt for the international arena providing uh, telecommunication service for the global on subsea cables. So Telecom Egypt is proud to have GSR here in Sharm el Sheikh and we are fully supporting uh, the regulator and the community of the regulators to be here having the symposium. And the name WE is a very inclusive name, so obviously you're looking to get a, a lot of people involved. It's uh, something which uh, I think, uh, I mean, in terms of the, the actual symposium itself is very important in terms of connectivity and in terms of meaningful connectivity. I wanted to ask you, what is the, the landscape like for connectivity here in Egypt at the moment? Okay, so we are connecting uh, more than 80% of the Egyptian community for uh, fixed broadband as uh, we, and uh, we provide mobile services as well for more than 100% of the population using the four operators. Telecom Egypt have like 12 million of uh, customers. We came first in the market, uh, but we are moving aggressive to provide unified services from fixed and mobile as well. Uh, so we, the, the government supporting the non-connected people, which is one of the things that I heard in the morning sessions about uh, connecting the non-connected. Uh, and Decent Life Initiatives is one of the major projects that's connecting the villages uh, in rural areas in Egypt. Telecom Egypt is proud to provide fiber to the home to all those villages, and uh, we are working hard, hand in hand with government to support those villages to be connected. Also, we are providing for them 4G networks as, uh, to connect them on the mobile as well. So, connecting the unconnected is part of the major uh, regulatory challenges, and we are happy also to be to be part of this. And what do you hope will be some of the outcomes from this event? It's a connected world. So uh, regulations in one country now after the COVID can affect, communication is about two people connecting together. So you can be connecting the same country or from different countries, connecting to internet is always from the global. So regulations in different countries can affect each other. Having a collaborative models of regulatory between the different regulators will help smooth communication. So I would like the outcome is to have as much as possible. I cannot say 100% unified regulations, but at least we have the basics itself of the new technologies. AI is an important thing and it's a hype which many people are afraid of. Maybe many people are supporting, expecting a lot. Regulation about the usage, is the usage of AI is important. So I would like to see an outcome of somehow uh, collaborative uh, unified regulations between the different regulators comes from uh, this uh, symposium, which will help providers like Telecom Egypt to provide the services uh, in different countries as well, because Telecom Egypt is part of its business is to provide connectivity globally. So cross-border data between country to country is important for us to have a unified regulatory. And what do you hope the future will be like here for Telecom in, in Egypt? I see everyone is connected. We have a young population and 35% uh, of the population is under the age of 15, which means that we have a future. I would like to see all those younger generations connected and contributing to the community uh, or the digital community at that time. So we would like to prepare for them the future to be a technology uh, future. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today, Mr. Nasra. Thank you, Max. Excellent to meet you, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again thank in the you near so future. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate thank your you. time. Thank you. Excellent. 
Thank you very much for tuning in to this particular interview. We've got plenty more over the next uh, few days here at GSR 23, and we're also running these interviews as podcasts too on our SoundCloud channel or wherever you get your podcasts. And for more information, please visit our website at www.itu.int. Thank you very much.